Hi, in this video I want to talk about something basic but in my opinion very important and that's the interaction option. Whether you should choose Blender, 3D Max or Maya and a lot of especially new users are wondering what is this and which one should you choose. The interaction basically deals with keyboard shortcuts and uh, mouse buttons. What is the each keyboard shortcut does? How do you rotate, pan, zoom, select? With each uh, interaction uh, preset you get different keyboard shortcuts. And which one is better? It's, it can be a very subjective topic but I will give you my reasons why uh, for me the 3D Max option is the choice that you should make. I have two main reasons and one of which is that uh, the 3D Max keyboard shortcut setup is much better, much more user friendly than the Blender default and the other reason is that uh, it gets to do with uh, if you are aiming at some point in the future to get a job in 3D animation. So I'm going to select this option and just click here. Now by default you all know that Blender selects with the right mouse button. And this is a hot topic, a lot of people are arguing is it this better, is this worse? How can it be better when you are using the left mouse button throughout almost everything you do on your computer? You use it on your operating system to select files, to drag them around, to do all kinds of stuff. Even in Blender, if you go ahead over here on these options, when you click on them, you click with the left mouse button. So it comes really natural to be able to select, grab, hold and drag objects with the left mouse button. I don't know why the developers of Blender decided that right mouse button selecting is a good idea. Maybe just to be different from other software, to distance themselves from the commercial software. I don't, really don't know, but it's just not a good idea to make your life more complicated on purpose. And I know that some of you are already thinking, well, you can go ahead and change your uh, keyboard shortcuts. You can change how you select. That's true. But I really don't recommend you change your keyboard shortcuts or assign too many new ones and the reason why is because if you're at some point aiming to get a job in tr with 3D animation and you're gonna have to go through an interview and they're gonna put you on the program and uh, chances are they're gonna put you on a program with a default setup and if you change all your keyboard shortcuts get used to them and then you're gonna have a really hard time performing the task on the interview so in general it's not a good idea to change your keyboard shortcuts just use defaults and overall uh, putting aside the left or right mouse button selecting I think that the 3D Max interaction setup is better than the Blender default so I recommend using the 3D Max and another reason why I would recommend it is that if you are planning on getting a job in 3D animation, chances are you're going to be using a commercial software. Most companies still work with 3D Max or Maya, so you're going to have to at some point make the transition if you're good at 3D animation because Blender is free, you can test your skills, you can learn, and then if you decide to go professional, you're going to have to probably transition to 3D Max or Maya, and if you use the 3D Max setup, it will be much more easier for you to make that transition. Because if you get used to the Blender default setup, I, I haven't used 3D Max in a while, but I highly doubt that they have a Blender default setup uh, offered in 3D Max. I highly doubt that, so it's a win-win to choose the Blender interaction option. I'm sorry, the 3D Max interaction option. So let me know what you think in the comments below. I want you to know that this video is not in any way aiming to criticize or hate on the Blender developers. I'm very grateful for the software that we get for free. I'm really amazed by this software because to make such a software it's probably hundreds of times harder than to make GIMP for example. So I am grateful for this software. I'm not trying to criticize the developers. 
I'm just trying to help out the people who are just getting started or some who are wondering about this, trying to uh, help them decide and give my opinion on the subject. Blender is not known to be the most user-friendly software, but with the help with the, of the great community, it's getting there little by little. For example, you have to know that these options here were not always available. Right now we have them, which is great. So the software is getting better and better. And I hope this video was useful to you. Let me know what you think about the subject in the comment section. If you're new to my channel, visit for more videos and subscribe. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And that's it for this one. Bye for now.